When you think of the Southern Oregon coast, what's the first thing you think about? Fresh fish. We have a mecca of fishing around here. We're at the port of Brookings Harbor and we're gonna go out in the ocean with Tidewind Sports Fishing. Superstar. This is Tidewood Sports Fishing, one of their many vessels, and we're going out ocean fishing. I'm very excited. We made our way out of the port of Brookings Harbor on an especially foggy day. It wasn't long before we reached our destination and the fish started coming into the boat. <laughs> Good gaff. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice Good. Good One after another rockfish, also known as snapper, were being caught. Sometimes two at a time. I think I'm catching a fish. <laughs> Fish <laughs> on! Alrighty! Throw it in your bucket. Woohoo! <laughs> I caught a big fish. <laughs> what is it, Nathan? A rockfish? Yep, that's a black. Black, black rockfish. Rock or a lot of people call them snappers. Yum. Like red snappers. Ling cod were also being brought on board, and before long, everybody on the boat had caught their limits. Get him, my son! You got him! Oh, he's bigger yet! Yeah. Oh. Done yet. Oh. You're, you're, you're cleaning oh my, my deck. Okay. It only took a couple of hours before we headed back in to clean our fish. You got a big old barbecue with that thing. We let you limit it out by nine o'clock. Look at that. Mm. 150 fish today? Yep. In a couple, in what, like two hours? Oh no, we're at an hour and a half. Five minutes. Oh, wow. That's amazing. A green lake. That's what we always catch. Look at that. This bag of fish is so heavy I can hardly hold it. That's how much fish I caught. <laughs> Great trip. Thank you so Tide much. Tide wins. It was nice fishing with you. Indulge yourself, give in to your desires, and discover true happiness in a piece of homemade fudge. Made fresh at Sweetbriar, there are over 40 flavors of fudge and a variety of fine chocolates. Live the coastal dream and discover treasures for the home and garden, your body, and the beach. Everyone has a sweet tooth for Sweetbriar fine gifts and candy, where a moment of happiness is found in a piece of chocolate. Moose Creek Bath and Body in Gold Beach, Oregon. With the use of organic ingredients, we follow fair trade practices, sustainability and recycling, and offer you natural, non-toxic, hand-blended skincare products. Organic shea butter, olive oil soaps, aromatherapy, custom fragrance blends, and anti-aging products. Over 10 years of research and development have gone into the formulas of our freshly made products. Visit our soap and local artisan gallery just off Highway 101 in Gold Beach, Oregon.
serenity greets you as you enter the oasis that is Radiant Health Spa. Relax your body and senses with natural products rich in antioxidants. Invigorate, rejuvenate, and embrace natural health at the Radiant Health Spa. Find your own personal Eden on the top floor of the newly remodeled Gold Rush Center in the heart of Gold Beach, Oregon. Poultry. Okay, we're going on the poultry with Adam. Yes, this is the first actual long cable of the basic course. Have fun. Okay. Woo! Straight as an arrow. I'm gonna take a short hike now, about 45 yards up the hill here. We are now sitting at the round robin platform where we will be flying the round robin cable over into the big zip tree. So, we are standing 50 foot up a tree. We just got here from the round robin cable right here. It's two, two and a half foot steps down to a branch where you'll get hooked on the cable. And let's put down to this branch and Both feet down and you can hold onto the cable. Right, are you ready? I'm ready. Have fun. See you guys on the other side. All right, so we are now standing 70 feet above the ground up on the big dip platform. As Adam is fond of saying, this is our biggest, fastest zip line we have out here down about. And on a personal note, my favorite line. We just came from the gap, came up our last ladder. We're gonna ride this cable and we're gonna be done with our basic course. From here, we're gonna go play up on the advanced lines. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so we just hit the transition platform. We're about ready to ride the Achilles line. Good, that Yay. was perfect. <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> Five zip lines later and I'm a pro. So we just flew the Achilles line. It's one of our fastest cables out here. We're now standing 66 feet above ground level. From here, we're gonna fly the Outback line. We're now standing on the Outback platform. We're about ready to fly Logan's Way. It's our second longest cable, one of our highest. This cable, you really have to concentrate on staying real straight on. Though. Like the perfect <laughs> Ooh, that was fun. God, yeah. I'm starting to get so comfortable with it. I'm looking around. Yeah. You know, rather than just at the line. Yeah. And it's so beautiful out here. Yeah. Oh, I love it. So we just made it across Logan's Way zip line, and we're now standing on the home run platform. Our home run will end up underneath the Magistry Treehouse. Uh, from there, you'll either walk across the bridges, or we will go up a set of ladders to the Little Dipper. All right. Our only uphill zip line. Yeah, right. I bet you, I know you're thinking right now, uphill zip line? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It works. <laughs> All right, here we're going to zip line uphill. I don't believe it. I'll let you know. We are at the top of the Little Dipper platforms as we come up three of them. Uh, we are just about ready to fly our only uphill zip line. Um, it is a 750 foot run. Uh, all uphill. I'm ready. So, we've just made it over to the British platform. From here, we are going to fly the Flying J uh, line here. It is our longest zip line out here. It is also our only trick zip line. We have swivels. We will teach you how to go upside down if you were wearing pants and shoes. It's the last cable for someone who has done everything else here and just needed something more to do. After that, we have the Tarzan swing. Two swings, it's gonna be $25 during the summer. It is the most terrifyingly fun swing you will ever do in your young or old life. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be doing this. This has got a 50 foot pendulum on it. It's 50 feet tall. 
and then we pull you back 50 feet and up 50 feet so the, your, the pendulum the radius of the swing is 50 feet so well, the big part of it is you, when you get you up there that you have somewhat of a free fall before the pendulum starts to catch you and you hit about a what g force of force that hit the bottom here so you're going pretty fast watching Michael and Peggy's Ultimate Treehouse. For the complete show, log on to www.treehouses.com and order the DVD. Complete with the history of the tree resort, an overview of every treehouse, and the zipline course. To stay at Out and About Tree Resort, call 541-592-2208. Sleep in the trees and spend your day on one of the largest and most exciting zipline courses in the world. The secret is out. Southern Oregon has become a destination for nature enthusiasts from around the world. From family adventure to intrepid explorations, Southern Oregon has enough activities that may have you staying longer than you had planned. Located in the heart of it all is Gold Beach, which makes it the ideal home base for your outbound adventures. The redwoods are the tallest living things on the planet, and they are just 45 minutes south of Gold Beach. There are a number of groves with easy and short nature walks to longer day treks that lead you through these majestic trees and vibrant undergrowth. To get there, go south and you will see that just the drive along Samuel Borman Park is considered to be one of the most beautiful highways in the world. Other attractions near the Redwoods include Ocean World, where you can pet a shark and take in a sea lion show and further south are the trees of mystery. You can even try your luck at one of the area casinos. There are two to choose from going south and one north of Gold Beach. North of Gold Beach, Highway 101 continues its way along the coast with stunning views hugging the cliffs towards the town of Port Orford. A small fishing village with one of the only open docks in the world where fishing boats are lowered into the Pacific Ocean. It is fascinating to watch these vessels come in and see the catch of the day. Nearby is Prehistoric Gardens, a great way to get into a rainforest without having to trek for miles. It is a place for all ages and has dinosaur replicas hidden amongst the foliage. Cape Blanco is the most westerly point in the continental United States and also the home of one of the oldest working lighthouses. Tours are given and the area is surrounded by miles of hiking trails. Another gem is the West Coast Game Park. Where else can you hold baby bears, cougars, tigers, and leopards? This park is a unique breeding facility that engages human contact with its animals. Do you ever think you're going to hold a baby bear in your life? Your northern tour will finally lead you to the Oregon Dunes. The Oregon Dunes are the largest expanse of coastal sand dunes in the United States. The area is perfect for hiking and biking, or renting an ATV and getting out on the sand. So if you're looking for a daytime trip outside of Gold Beach, I'm about two hours north off of 101, and there's so many sand dunes to go dune bugging in, anywhere from a four-person passenger sand buggy, or you can have a single ATV, and this is a great way to spend a day just outside of Gold Beach. 
Whichever way you go, you will still be back in Gold Beach early enough to enjoy a relaxing evening dining in one of the area's many fine restaurants.